and we back every time i lose a game i have to trade the player that had the worst game and obviously that could mean that it's my my best player I, who really knows we're gonna stop uh, in, in three and two and one we're running with the minnesota timberwolves all right um and the wolves are gonna have pick number 24 uh the way this works is it's it's all on a relative scale you feel me like obviously if we hand a Cole Jokic, we won't because we have the 24th overall pick no matter what stat line he put up he's gonna have a better performance than our 10th man in our rotation it's all about relative all relative okay and you just have to trust that i'm making the right decisions and, and that i'm not being biased because i want to keep my best players i just want to i want to say that too uh because I got accused of some things a couple days ago. Well, y'all thought I was trying to keep my best player. And I didn't want to trade him away, even though a wheel told me to trade him away. I plead the fifth. Uh, so the team is Paul George, Demontis Sabonis, Tobias Harris, Malik Monk, Lonzo Ball. Okay. I'm actually not mad at this team. Now, we also got Alex Caruso off the bench. Monte Morris. We should probably be looking at the rotation because that makes the most sense. Nine-man rotation. Cool, cool, cool. Um, and we cannot make a trade until we get our first loss and it's it happened immediately Okay, so who performed the worst out of everybody here? Malik Monk had a 3 of 10 game 0 for 6 from 3 That feels like the worst game here So Mal oh minus 26 too. Yeah, 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 yeah It feels like Malik Monk is probably the guy um, Even though Tobias Harris had four turnovers for a guy and three fouls four turnovers for a guy who shouldn't even had a ball that much we, it's, I'm going to say it was Malik Monk. Malik Monk was the, the the odd man out. First game of the season, he lost. And I can't attach him with people that are not in the rotation. So, like, Nikhil Alexander-Walker has not played and did not play in that first game, so I can attach him. And hopefully we get something that can upgrade us from Malik Monk to somebody else. There's no trade deadline, which is something, too. Now, the first true Jalen Green, it's not an upgrade, but, like, it's an upgrade in value, but not necessarily in overall. I forgot who my center was already. It's DeMontis Sabonis. Okay, so I'm not doing a Nicholas Claxton trade. So the first trade that popped up looked like the one, but the problem is it has Sasha Vazinkov in. And Sasha Vazinkov is a rotational player, and he had a good game, so I can't trade him right now. Even though trade number one looked amazing, like this OG Ananobi trade looks really good, but I can't trade Sasha right now because he wasn't the worst player. But wow, 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 wow. Um, Winyan Gabriel did not play for us. Nikhil Alexander-Walker did not play for us, and Malik Monk was the worst player on the team in that game. We're bringing in Derek White. Boom. And Derek White is... Is he starting over Caruso? Yeah. So now we got Lonzo and Derek White as our backcourt? Stop messing around. All right, we should we should win 25 straight games now. There's a win again. We don't need to, we don't need to look at wins. It's just the losses. Okay, that did not take long. The worst performing player in this loss. Lonzo had seven assists, seven turnovers. He had four steals, though. That's probably. Oh no, Demontis Sabonis had the worst game. Wow. I'm, I'm happy I looked. Sabonis had a 7-7 seven and seven and he fouled out. I'm sorry, Sabonis. It's you. It's you. Which sucks because obviously Sabonis is a really, really good player. But he has to be the guy that gets traded away. See, you, can't, you cannot say... You cannot say that I'm not trying to trade my best players because I'm trading one of my two best players right now. Kobe White. Ooh. <laughs> I'm going to have to go back to trade number 19, baby. I have to do this deal right. I have to do it. My, I can't put my biases aside, man. Kobe White. How is he only at 81, 2K? He got to at least be 83. At least. Um, he's coming off the bench for Lonzo Ball at the moment. You know what? I'd rather have the offensive punch. Lonzo and Alex Caruso is my backup wing. Or my backup guards. I like this team a lot. We got the white backcourt. The Kobe and, and Derek. Then we got PG, Toby, and then uh, Jared Allen. That's a really good starting five. Please don't lose any more games for the rest of the season. I want to win a championship with this team. So far, everything they looking good. They tried to switch it up. No, man, it's it's Kobe White's team, man. Even though his shot tendency is never going to be high enough for him to... Oh, my God, Paul George averaging 30. His shot tendency is never going to be high enough to uh, have him average 20-something. That's okay. Look at the streak. The guys have... Go oh, there's a loss. Oh, man. Okay, who was it? Who was it? Okay, Paul George, solid game. Jared Allen, very good game. Lonzo, not an amazing game. I'm looking at you, Lonzo. Oh, no. Is it Kobe White? Oh, no. Um, It might be Kobe White already, man. He fouled out in 20 minutes, and he only scored six points. That's my, start that's my starting point guard, six points. But then again, Tobias Harris played 30 minutes, and he shot six of 17. It was a minus 10. Derek White was a minus 25. Oh my God, it's Derek White. Why did I just take... Why, how did I not see that he... Sh it's Derek White. I'm sorry. It's Derek White. He shot 2 of 12, 0 of 3 from 3. He had 4 turnovers. 
He had the same amount of points as turnovers, and then he was a minus 25, the lowest in the game. It has to be Derek White. He had four blocks, and I think that's why I overlooked it. But D. White, I'm sorry. Uh, it has to, has to be you. Upgrading from Derek White in that contract. His contract is so good for the team. It's going to be hard to find the trade. Oh, okay. That's that. That's not difficult at all. Who am I to look past a LaMelo ball trade? That's that's easy. And you know what? LaMelo 6'5". Kobe White is 6'. I mean, LaMelo 6'7". Kobe White is 6'5". Kobe, you can run some shooting guard, my G. You know, you, you, got, you got everything it takes. So you are a shooting guard. You know what, Kobe? I'm changing your shot, Tennessee. It's 55? Man, get Kobe a 780. Yeah, 80. And Paul George, you should go up to. You, you're having too good of a season. You're averaging 31 on 50, 40, 90. I mean, that's insane. All right, so the new lineup is a lot better. We got a lot of point guard minutes now with Monte Morris out here, but it is what it is. We shouldn't lose another game. We lost immediately. Okay. Um, this time around, is it Toby? Five fouls, 40% from the field, plus minus a minus 12, which is the second lowest behind Alex Caruso. Caruso had an okay game. He just fouled a bunch. I, th I think it might be, I think it might be Toby, man. I think it might be Toby this time around. Now, that's a debatable one. I think all of the ones up to this point wasn't really debatable. I think Toby's debatable. We're going to accept it um, and throw him a Corey Kisper, who's not in the part of the rotation, right? I feel like I have too many Chicago Bulls connects here. It's it's uh, Lonzo. It's Larry Marketer. It's Kobe White. It's Alex Caruso. And, yeah. Uh, but I'm not going to... That's just the reality of the situation. You know, it's just the reality of the situation. We're going to change the rotation to 10. So we could get Dwight Powell some minutes. So Malik Beasley's now the odd man out. I think we look better now. I think we look like a better team. 15. Dang, man. We can't go a week without a loss. Anthony Edwards gave us 49. The worst performing player. This time is almost undoubtedly Kobe White. Two of 11 from the field. I can't I can't get my way out of this one, Kobe. I tried to get you as the guy. It's you this time around. Unfortunately. And your contract is so nice that I don't even want to trade you. I'm like, God, I don't want to trade you, but we're going to have to. We're looking for a new starting shooting guard. Well, I'm going to take the Mikael Bridges trade. Uh, not going to overthink that. This is a championship team. We don't have a lot of big wings. We have a bunch of uh, guards, a bunch of guards. We need, some, we need one of our guards to not have a good game, basically. One of our backup guards. Not our starters, backup guards. I guess they're the backup guards to have a really bad game. But right now, it's it's going okay. I like this win streak. I like this win streak. Mikael Bridges really came in and changed the coach. I'm sorry, Kobe White. But you getting out the dough had us going uh, without a loss for about to be three weeks now. There's a loss. Oh, man. Okay. This time around, another hard to say. I mean, it's probably Mikael Bridges with his five turnovers. And, f oh, it is Mikael Bridges. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Oh, man. It's by far Mikael Bridges. Dang. Oh, well, Mikael, you lasted a couple weeks here. And we appreciate the time you spent <laughs> on the team. But it's got to be you, I guess. We're going in a different direction. We're going to get a first-round pick in Julius Randle. Um, because. Why? Oh, no, no, no. Larry Marketing is the three. Paul George is the two now. That's where my head was at. That's where my head was at. I knew I didn't just do it for no reason. <laughs> I swear I knew I didn't do it for no reason. Okay, so that makes a lot more sense now. Um, and now Julius Randle slides into that fourth position. Boom. Starting lineup looks good. Again, our bench is a bunch of guards. But. It's only so much you can do um, with one trade. You know, we, we, now we sit back and hope that we don't get any more losses. Now, again, trade deadline is off, so we could potentially lose in the last game of the season. And dang, back-to-back -back losses is, is insane. Okay, this time, it's Randall. Nine points, four, 14 is Julius Randall. I'm sorry, Julius, you got to go. What about a Paolo Bancaro swap? That's cool. Now, we losing a bunch of contract money there because Paolo's still on his rookie deal. But so be it. You know, we, we just got to do what we think is best. We trade an all-star for an all-star. And then we lose again, bro. Oh, my God. We need... This next trade has to be the best trade. It's Larry Marketing going out the door. Or is this LaMelo? Oh, no. No, LaMelo. Um, which one of these games is worse? Probably Larry Marketing. Zero assists. Only four rebounds. Are you seven foot tall? And you play more minutes? It's Larry Marketing. Dang, man. I really want to keep Larry around, too. He's a... I mean, obviously, he's a really good player in real life. But simulation-wise, he's great, too. It's got to go. Trading for Desmond Bain and Mark Williams. Now, that means Paul George is going back to the three position. And then Desmond Bain is going to start at the two with... who? Ooh, who is this cold? Somebody who's cold. Lonnie Walker's cold. Uh, Yeah, I see. I see. Have I been overlooking the role players? Lonnie Walker, one of four. But it's like, it's hard to say that his one of four mattered more than Larry Marketing's. Like, four of 13, you know? 
But maybe I got to start thinking about that. You know, it's, it's relative to the player. We've lost three of our last four games. So things are not going perfectly. We need a really good stretch with no trades because uh, I'm running out of players to trade for at this point. The day has come. I think the day has come where it, it's it's Paul George. Uh, is it though? Is it though? Is it though? Let me think about this. Let me think about this. He had nine points. Actually, it's Paul George. He's our best player. He's averaging 26 on the season. He just had nine. It's Paul George. Dang, bro. I did not want to trade PG. He's having such a ridiculous season for us. It feels bad to have to throw him in a trade finder, but the rules are the rule. Only trade here that makes any sense, and it doesn't make a lot of sense, is trading him for Jamal Murray. Oh, boy. All right, well, small wingspan Desmond Bain is now our three. Um, Jamal Murray's probably the, the two. This team is going to lose the very next game. This team is not good anymore. <laughs> it's not just not good anymore. You trade away Paul George, your team loses uh, it's a, a little bit of, of value, you know. Um, defensively, we st should still be good. They want... Paolo, you can start. Draymond, you come off the bench with Lonzo. and def Our defensive second unit is crazy. Draymond, Mark Williams, Lonzo, and Caruso. That's insane. Maybe that's going to carry us for the rest of the season. I don't know. But I don't, I don't like this team nearly as much as the team before this with Paul George on it. But hey, back-to-back -back wins. It's a back-to-back -back game. And we just won. We just won both. Make that three in a row. Uh-oh. Draymond Green. And who else did we just trade for? Draymond Green and... Oh, oh, Jamal Murray. Draymond Green and Jamal. All right. It's Lonzo Ball this time around. Um, one of six from the field. 0 for 3 from 3. It's Lonzo. I hate that it's Lonzo, but it is him. You know, I think that I've been focusing so much up top. I've kind of forgot that the role players exist. And Lonzo is a... That's not a bad trade, man. That's not a bad trade. Lonzo's got good value. You get a first round pick to use in our next trade. I'll take that 100% of the time. Um, Palo back in the start lineup, please. And now we have a more real rounded rotation. Alex Caruso could play some. Ooh, Alec Burks could play. Ooh, both of them have small 40s in their backup position. I'm actually surprised at that. Um, I'm going to say Alex Caruso, you're now the backup point guard for the time being. Um, and hope that that works now that Lonzo's gone. I hate to split up Lonzo and, and LaMelo, man, but... Lonzo ain't hold his weight. Imagine having this much pressure in real life, though. Whenever you have a really bad game, your co your GM is like, yes, yeah, your time. Oh, there's a loss. 35 and 11 is not bad. It feels terrible because we are um, have to trade people, but it's not a bad start to the season. Jamal Murray is probably the guy here. Oh, no, it's Paolo. It's Paolo this time around. Yeah. Yeah, 13 points in all of those minutes as, as a starter, and he's only making 11 which, again, makes it extremely tough to make this trade happen because you're basically trading them away for somebody else on a small contract. There's not many people on small contracts that are at 87 overall. Oof. We don't, we can't do this. We we have Jamal Murray and, and LaMelo right now. All right, it's Scotty. It's Scotty and Walker Kessler. Now, we got a lot of centers. We got Walker Kessler, Mark Williams, and Jared Allen. But I'm actually not mad at this at all. I want to start Caruso. I'm not mad at that either. All right, all right, okay, okay. I feel good again. I feel good. Scotty got a lot of rebounds here, but he had a bad game. Um, three of fifteen. Nothing to write home about. Walker Kessler has six blocks in fourteen minutes. Oh my God, that's crazy. Uh, Scotty Barney, you gotta go. I'm real life run. Oh, I can't even do that trade because Alec Burks is in it. I'm real life running out of people to trade to potentially trade for, bro. This is insane. We've done so many trades, and I'm trying not to get dupes, and that's why I'm saying that. I'm trying not to trade back for a player after we got rid of them. I got to do this one. I got to get Tyrese Maxey. It doesn't make any sense to have Tyrese Maxey on this team right now. But, I mean, we just, we, we I didn't want to lose the asset. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't just trade him away for a 77 overall. That's Scotty Barnes. So I trade him for another all-star, even if he don't fit, because eventually we're going to lose another game, right? And, and that means that it might be Tyrese Maxey. It might be somebody else. He going to find minutes. He going to find the right minutes. But right now, he's a super, super duper six man. Um, and so far, that's working. Hold on. Are we never going to lose again? Super duper six man, Tyrese Maxey. Uh-oh. That was the cheat code this whole time? Oh, man. Oh, 50 and 12 right now. We only got a month left for the season, man. We talking maybe one or two more trades at this rate. We just beat that team by 50 plus points. Wow. The boys are not going to lose again. This is like a 20 game win streak right now. Oh, there it is. There it is. But what a, what a streak. Please don't let it be one of my top, top players. Let's see. Draymond Green was a minus 39. Draymond, get off the team, dude. Zero points in 29 minutes is so Draymond, too. 
But you gotta go. You gotta go. And I don't got no more first round picks to attach to you, though. You gotta go. Um, it was cool, though. He really helped us out. Like, no joke. I'm gonna trade him for J-Dub. Same overall. Different players, obviously. J-Dub starts. Um, this is such an ugly looking team. But it's working right now. Like, I, I don't like the pieces working together. But 2K's like, hey, one of the best teams in the association. Maybe the best team in the association. And I take that. We only got a week and a half left for the season. We may, I hope we go undefeated here. Because if we got to trade our best player the last day of the season, I would be so sad. Ooh, there it is. Who is it going to be? J-Dub. He fouled out. Four points, 30 minutes. One of eight. It's J-Dub. Dang. And again, as I'm trying not to get duplicates, it's $4 million. We, we throw him a Norman Powell back. The people that we just got, we got to give them away. It'll be Franz Wagner. We got to redo this lineup, though. They want Walk and Jared Allen to start together. No, I just got, I'm just going to make um, Franz Vuh. 70 he go down to 70 i mean 82 he got he already he's 16 he lose that much overall by being a power forward that's kind of insane oh uh, all right let's just hope that we win out because i don't even know what we do if we lose in the last day of the season because obviously i can't make trades on the last day of the season and just win okay we ain't got to worry about it mvp is luca victor and Miyama's rookie of the year russell westbrook is six man of the year Wimby also wins dpoy Kobe White most improved. Dang it, Kobe. I wanted you to win that award on this team. Plus player of the year goes to John Morant. And then we win coach of the year at 68 wins. Like, that's that's a really, really good number when you think about it, you know? How many people used to play for us making an All-NBA team? Um, zero. Great. <laughs> Great. We just, we never traded for an All-NBA player in this whole video. We did 15, -ish tra 14 trades and we never got an All-NBA player. That's kind of crazy. All right, first round, we're going against Trey Young, Devin Vassell, Brandon Ingram, Tari Eason, and... Steven Adams, that's a really solid lineup. Um, I think we also have a really solid lineup. We got some 90s and near 90s. Game two is a win. This is a series that ends in five at most. It's at four. All right. Then we get the Clips. The Clips have Joel Embiid and some solid, solid role players. But Joel Embiid has to be carrying heavy for them to be at this spot. I think we have the pieces to not stop JoJo. But slow him down. I mean, we got Walker Kessler, Jared Allen, Mark Williams. Like, there was never a minute where Joel Embiid was going against a below average center, which is dope. We have Anthony Edwards, Porzingis, who I almost traded for like three different times. I can't lie. Ant looks good in that jersey. I just say it. He looks good in that jersey. Uh, we're about a team, though. Corey Kispert is starting at the four, which means that we made a trade with them because Corey used to be on our team. They're a playing team. Oh, I was going to say a really good success story, but they can't hang with the big dogs. But, oh, hold on, hold on, Mr. Finch. Start the, yes, yeah, start both of the centers. I don't care. Mr. Finch, we cannot be losing to a playing team. 2-1 them. We, we take it back. 3-2. -1, we get to the finals to go against almost the Chicago Bulls. But Luka averaged 43 in the conference finals. Um, and in that last game, he had 40 and 11. LeBron, Bradley Beal, Russell Westbrook, Rudy Gobert. Chris Paul is on this team. DeAndre Jordan is on this team. Dwayne Wade. No, I'm joking. This is an old team, though. This is a really old team. They almost made it work. Like, if this exact team existed in 2017, oh, my God. 2017, Bron, 2017. Bradley Beal was young at that point. But still, 2017, Russ, 2017, Gobert. Oh, that team would have been nasty. Uh, but unfortunately for them, it's 2024. So... You know, Gabe one is a win. Okay, I didn't even see who else was on their team other than Luca. It don't matter. Oh, Draymond is back in um in Michigan. Game three us, and we beat beat them. There it is. There it is. There it is. You make one trade every time you lose. You get rid of your, your worst player, and it just ends in a championship. Like it's a very very simple recipe that all of these GMs are neglecting to to to, to use. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, leave it a like, and I'll see y'all tomorrow.